Bang. Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and here we have the Best Tech Skirmish. Now, these are available right now in D2 and I think 154 CM. This one is the Damascus version. I think, I'm just guessing, I couldn't find the information on it, but I think it's a powdered steel 9CR 440C mix. Um, that's what most of these companies are doing or getting. I think they're basically getting their powder still from basically the same place, but there are some different ones out there. There's VG 10 ones or OS 10 ones and things like that. So it's probably right around in that area. Um, but it is a Dow blade shape, G10 scales. It comes in many different options. And like I said, you can get the non Damascus version. Deep carry clip that is inset with flat screws, but it's not reversible. Um, nice, thick, robust liner lock. And it has dual deployment. So you have the reverse flick, which works great, by the way. They tune this detent really, really good. Not too light, not too strong. You could almost call it a, a a perfect detent so um, I will say for the thumb flick it's a little tight right here I kind of rub this little corner when I flick it out but it's not bad at all and the reverse flick is fantastic then you have this little minimal flipper tab that because the detent is so good works great fantastic flipping action especially for such a small flipper works great very snappy and then you know the geometry is it you know since it's a dowel blade you know and the way the grind is it's not the thinnest behind the edge but it'll definitely slice really good especially if you put a low angle edge on it the tip is definitely going to be uh very pokey and uh great for utility cuts now the sharpening tool and plunge grind uh you know it's okay they did give you a couple sharpenings on there but i would prefer to move it back a little bit and make it to where it's like back here, so you have lots of life to sharpen. This is pretty close. See how it starts here? I don't know why companies are having such a hard time with plunge grinds. Starts here, it ends here, so that means I have this much life to sharpen off before I create a smile. And on something like this with this Damascus, that would look awfully ugly to have a smile on it. Um, you know, like I said, you'll get a couple good sharpenings out of it. Now, a couple complaints, you know, which that, was, that would be one of them that's a little bit of a complaint. But my main complaint... Are these ergos? I'm not a fan of it because, again, I spoke about this recently, thicker to thinner. So it goes from thick to thin, and it makes it to where there's like a room right here. So when I'm cutting, it's going to have a little bit of area to shift back here in my hand. Yes, up here, I can control it really good, and it's not bad. And if I choke up, this is fine. This actually is thick enough right here to where I can easily control it but if i'm back here i just i feel like i'm one falling off and two it just feels a little too slim because this is thicker up here so not that big of a deal but um you know and i'm sure you would get used to it and this thing is more of a pinch grip knife anyways um that you could definitely slice with and if you were slicing you'd probably choke up regardless so it's not that big of a deal um now the next thing is the clip is a little crazy. It's a little big, a little obnoxious. Um, but yes, you have tons of room underneath there, so it's going to fit in, you know, over any jeans. It's going to work great. It's going to comfortably go in and out of the pocket, and it'll probably carry somewhat good for such a wide knife. The problem is in the hand, because it gets narrow back here, you really feel this little corner right there in your hand. When you choke up, it's not so bad, but I still do feel it because it's so long. So it's just a little big for this thickness of a handle um but all in all you know it's you know it's not really my style of knife but you know i do think it's built well i think it's um you know good quality i think you know if it is your style and this is a knife you're looking for i think it'll serve you very very well uh, like i said i think it's very well done the detent is really good access to the lock bar is decent no problems with that um not the smoothest dropper but it's smooth you know it uh it drops down fairly good little bit of influence and it drops right down there so um yeah and there's milling on the inside to bring down the weight you know it's a cool well-built little knife and i like how they have you know different kinds of g10 and lots of different options and stuff but like i said it's just not my style but that's not who i'm reviewing it for i'm reviewing it for the person that it is their style is it good quality um now the the stop pin is a nice big stop pin i love that lockup is rock solid yeah, that's a good lockup right there. Very good lockup. Um, and the next thing 
is T6s. I'm not a big fan of T6s. I wish they were T8s. I like seeing T8s across the board. They're not easy to strip, and T6s are easy to strip. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, the backspacer is a floating backspacer, which is pretty cool. So that's, um, you know, that's cool. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.